Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. While we are talking about setting up a 3D Pen Studio, let's look at the setup for another heat forming technique. And that is ironing your 3D Pen projects. Why? Well, here are the first nine reasons. In this video, the link is down below. Similar to baking, this works best if you do it while the parts are still flat and then shape them into 3D objects later. As for any other ironing, you will obviously need an iron. Then you will need an ironing surface. That is way harder than the average ironing board. I use wooden board or cork board if I want the piece to melt quickly and a marble tile in cases where it's important that the top liner sticks to the piece and the bottom liner doesn't. And speaking of liners, those are crucial. So the plastic doesn't stick to your iron or your ironing surface. And it can be a Teflon sheet or parchment paper will work. Other helpful tools are two marble tiles to speed up the cooling and release of the ironed pieces because the plastic sticks while it's hot, no matter how non-stick the liner is. But don't panic, it will let go once it cools down. Ironing lets you work with multiple colors of filament to produce one of a kind color patterns. And it also lets you attach the filament parts to fabric, as in the Eastern Dragon project. The link to that one is also in the description. I designed the Dragon project primarily to demonstrate ironing 3D pen projects, but it developed into a rather extensive complex production that incorporates several different heat forming techniques. But we don't have time for all of them today because our two minutes are up. 